Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about histology of thymus. Thymus is lobulated lymphoid organ capsule. It is covered by thin connective tissue capsule trabeculae. Trabeculae arises from capsule. Connective tissue trabeculae arises from capsule. Lobules. Trabeculae extend into the interior of the organ and subdivide the thymus gland into numerous incomplete lobules. Trabeculae extend into the interior of the organ. It extends into the parenchyma and subdivides the gland into numerous incomplete lobules. Each lobule consists of outer dark staining cortex and inner light staining medulla. Outer dark staining cortex and inner light staining medulla. Cortex. It consists of densely packed lymphocytes that do not form lymphatic nodules. You can see there are no lymphatic nodules here in spleen, lymph node and palatine tonsil. You can see lymphatic nodules but here you are not seeing any lymphatic nodules. Cortex consists of densely packed lymphocytes that do not form lymphatic nodules. Medulla. It is inner light staining zone of the thymus. It is continuous between the lobules. Medulla of one lobule is continuous with medulla of adjacent lobule. It consists of few lymphocytes but more epithelial reticular cells. It consists of few lymphocytes but more epithelial reticular cells. It also consists of numerous Hussel corpuscles or thymic corpuscles. It consists of numerous thymic or Hussel corpuscles that characterize the thymus gland. Hussel corpuscles are small, rounded or ovoid structures. These are eosinophilic structures. They may exhibit calcification or degeneration centers. Blood vessels and adipose cells are present in both thymic lobules and trabeculae.